I've never harmed a hair on John O'Keefe's head. For months, ABC's 2020 followed the case against Karen Reed, talking to her as she holed up in a hotel room right before her trial. Matt Gutman also sitting down for a lengthy interview in the summer of 2023. Could you have been angry enough and slightly drunk because he had annoyed you that in the fit of rage you just backed up and never tried to tap him? Would Not to try to kill him, but try to... To tap him with my 6,000-pound full-size SUV. No. I met someone who was utterly convinced of their story. Someone who believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that what the prosecution alleges happened on that snowy, blizzardy night in January of 2022 did not happen. Talking to News Center 5's David Beanick, who was in the courtroom gavel to gavel and often chased out the players afterward, Gutman and Beanick compared Reed's courtroom persona to what 2020 saw behind the scenes. In court, sitting there, people have talked about her smirk, people have talked about her confidence, the clothes that she wears. But in her own hotel room, she seems just like a normal person who's concerned about how people view her and that she is human for how it has taken a toll on her. The 2020 broadcast also featured interviews with friends and family members of John O'Keefe. They were concerned that John O'Keefe's legacy is lost in this blizzard of a media circus around Karen Reed. Gutman says he also came away from this project with admiration and respect for the 16-year veteran Boston cop. This is a special person. Now, Karen Reed's defense team remains extremely confident that the second trial will go their way. Meanwhile, the O'Keefe family is now suing Reed for wrongful death. Indebted by Mary Salina, WCVB News Center 5.